Welcome to Excel 2010 Workshop 1. Hi, my name is Eric Ripley. I'm with Shift Key Solutions. And in this video tutorial, we're going to be covering items such as adding data to a worksheet, formatting cells and numeric values, creating formulas, some simple formulas, creating and formatting a column chart, creating and formatting spark lines saving this workbook in an earlier version earlier than 2010 and preparing the workbook for printing okay before we begin I always like to do a little review of the environment we're working in and some of this stuff you may already know but it's a nice review here at the top of the worksheet excuse me here at the top of the uh, Excel program we have a bar up here. It's a little translucent right now, but this bar is called the title bar. In the title bar we can find the name of the workbook we're working with right now, or the file name, along with the name of the program we have running. On the left hand side of this, can you remember the name of this? This area right here? This is called the quick access toolbar. Okay. Below the quick access toolbar, we have our good friend, the ribbon. Okay, Inside of these ribbons, we have a number of different tabs on the ribbon. So if you hear me mention going to a particular tab, you'll know that the name of the tab is always at the top of the ribbon. Below and within this ribbon, we have these sections down here called font, alignment, number, styles, cells, and so on. These are called, can you remember what they're called? Groups. We have clipboard group, font group, alignment group, number group, style, and so on. Within these groups, you'll also find a little tiny square here, a little button, uh, for some groups. Not all groups have these. These first four have these buttons here, but styles doesn't have one, nor does cells or editing. Can you remember what this is called? These buttons are called the dialog box launcher button. So you may hear something in the in the way of, you know, go to the alignment group and click the dialog box launcher. Well, this is the alignment group and this is the dialog box launcher. Okay, below this we have our good friend the name box over here. We have a formula bar here, and we have our insert function button right here. Below this, we have our work area here, which contains all of our cells. At the top of this, the A, B, C, D, E, these are all called columns. Over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on, these are called rows. So, in, uh, in turn, these are called column headers, and these are called row headers. So you may hear me say something like, let's click and to select column C. You would click the C column header. Or you may hear me say, let's select row 10. In order to select the entire row, you click the row header, and that selects the entire row. Okay, below this, we have our worksheets. Uh, by default, Excel automatically includes three worksheets. We have worksheet, or I'm sorry, we have sheet one, sheet two, and sheet three. Okay, there's a little uh, button down here called insert worksheet, which is adding a new worksheet. Pretty simple. I'll go back and we're going to clean this up by deleting some worksheets and we'll have one worksheet. And then, of course, at the bottom we have uh, our status bar. Okay. All right, so uh, and uh, over here we have our views. We're in normal view right now, but we also have page layout and page break preview. Quite honestly, the only view we'll ever work in is normal view. Unless, of course, we're doing a header or footer, then we'll be in page layout. But when we're finished with header and footer, we come right back to normal view. And then we have our zoom bar.